What is one thing you learned about the other professions on your team since becoming LSVT certified? How has that impacted your quality of care for people with Parkinson's disease? So since becoming LSVT big certified and working much more closely with our speech language pathologist, one of the things that I really wasn't aware of was that sort of like PT, you know, we don't want to wait too long to intervene in the lives of our patients. You don't want to wait until someone is actually having some really big deficits with their speech and their swallowing and their language ability to kind of intercede. And you can really do right after diagnosis because there are deficits that are there right at the time of diagnosis. So I really learned the importance of starting speech language pathology services much sooner. I also learned that it's very beneficial for our patients to be seen by an ENT physician um, prior to starting LSVT Loud. Um, this was something, again, I wasn't aware of, so this helped me to learn a little bit more about the role of ENT and, and why they needed to be involved in the care. And I'd mentioned before that I really, you know, being coming from an acute care side of things, I really had not a full understanding of what my occupational therapy colleagues were able to do and just the specialty that they were able to provide. And I, I really do thank LSVT Big for opening my eyes um, to seeing what the occupational therapist was able to bring. And it helped me to learn more about that profession because I think Meredith said, you know, sometimes we think that we work alone in silos and that just can't be the way anymore. We know that it's only truly through that interdisciplinary care that that patient's gonna get the most benefit. All right, so I, I was LSVT Loud certified for many years prior to meeting any OTs or PTs that were LSVT Big certified. And I actually really wasn't aware of the really important role of physical exercise in slowing the progression of Parkinson's disease until I met the LSVT Big PT and OT practitioners and learned more about that and learned more about the important role of early intervention. So luckily I work on a team that recognizes the importance of early rehab. So we do get to see people shortly after they're diagnosed and continue to follow with them. And LSBT Big and Loud are often a part of their journey through rehabilitation. Um, so prior to becoming certified in LSVT Big, I think that I had a very um, narrow scope and view of the role of speech language pathology and physical therapy. So I saw more physical therapists doing rote exercise with people and not really concerned with function. Um, and so it really was great to see colleagues that were very um, engaged in, um, you know, more of, I mean, to me, an, an OT perspective on looking at how people function and the exercise being geared toward helping that um, and looking at the importance and, and meaningful task in their life too. And then speech language pathology, I like Heather really thought it was more for later on, you know, when someone was really having problems. I didn't understand, I think, that preventative aspect. And it, it definitely changed how I approached some clients that I had that were attorneys and professors and people that really needed to preserve their speaking voice and be able to present. And they weren't necessarily having problems or, you know, issues or anything that could be um, identified, I think, by outward people, but they noticed a change. They felt less confidence with their voice and even some fatigue with their voice even in early stages so um, it's taught me a lot about the role of of my colleagues as well 